Hello Dollar Tree friends. Let's look at gift number one of the 10 gifts that I have put together on the cuff just walking through the Dollar Tree. Right now I am in the pet section and keep in mind all of these gifts can be enhanced with some cellophane, ribbons, bows, anything of that nature but I just wanted to show you the basics. So I'm going through the pet section throwing together just some basic pet essentials for walking the dog, picking up poop, getting a toy for the dog to play with, some treats, a bone I throw in there, and some toys, some toy balls that dogs love, and um, it all comes together, and it looks nice, and it's all color coordinated, and this gift is only $7. Great deal. Next, I'm in the laundry section. So gift number two is I get the container that has the handle on it and I get some clothes pins. This is laundry essential. So you get the clothes pins, two different types, and then I got the rope in case you needed to make a temporary clothes pin. I mean clothes pin, a temporary clothes line to hang your clothes to air dry. A lint remover and uh, a hamper, one of those portable hampers that pop up and fold down and then from there I'm trying to see what makes the best presentation what fits in the best places in this basket um, the basket is perfect because it will allow you to carry all this stuff and it has the different compartments I threw in an over the door hook that looks like this but in white and then I'm feeling like okay I've got everything in here this basket could use something else to kind of balance out the front of it so I'm looking still in the section to see what else I can add and I see this other type of lint roller with the little bonus one in there that fit perfectly. It balanced out everything and once I give it a final look I'm like that would be a great gift. It's it's definitely functional and someone could use it and it's only eight dollars. That's a nice gift for someone. Then gift number three I go to the automobile section and I get some basics like lubricant, like that's like WD-40, power steering, air freshener, glass wipes, a wheel and tire cleaner, that's like armor all, the windshield cleaner, a steering wheel cover, and a shimmy, all in an oil bucket. These are all basics that you could use for your car, and it only costs $10. I go to the tool section for gift number four. I get a toolbox. I throw some tape in there. Now I'm looking for some gloves because that's definitely a basic item you would want in a toolbox. I got red and white ones because they kind of went with the holiday colors. Then a tape measure is definitely a necessity and a, I think that other thing was a hexagon wrench. And then a utility knife for sure. Everybody should have a utility knife in their life. Now I'm panning through to see what other basic necessary items and here's a small screwdriver set for those minor repairs that you might have around the house and a little hacksaw in case you need to cut or trim something a little mini one anyways and then I'm searching and I'm like okay I could use one more item in here and I go for the leveler so if you need to hang a picture or just make sure something's level you definitely want to have a leveler in your home this could be for someone who just moved into an apartment or just a female who could just need some basic tools in her life. Um, so this is a cute presentation. Throw a bowl and some cellophane. It only cost you nine dollars for some toolbox basics. Gift number five, I was in the school supply area and I thought well most of the kids are on winter break. They still have to go back to school so I looked at a backpack, a clipboard, a journal, index cards, index card holder. Those are some colored pencil, some colored pens, some sticky uh, labels, and some designer pens. I think I missed something in there, but all in a nice container so they can put all the pens and supplies in that container once they open up the gift. And I thought this was really cool, color coordinated. Look at all the bright, vibrant colors. I thought this was really neat. I was really proud of this one. I thought it looked nice. And I thought any student 
would definitely love to get this as a gift for Christmas. And it doesn't even look like a last minute thing, just the way it's all laid out and everything. And all for only $10. Throw some bowls, some cellophane, and you got yourself a great gift. Gift number six is uh, designed for someone who is throwing a little party or a get together and they don't have time to really wash dishes so you want to give them a nice little set of plates, napkins, a tray, utensils, cups, and some candy canes for an after dinner mint because you don't want people having bad breath, right? <laughs> so you take the gift bag and you stuff it with some tissue or some newspaper. Here in the store I just threw in some napkins because I wanted to lift the items up so that the bag would look full and have a great presentation like this. You want things to be peeking out the top and look at how it's all color coordinated from the bag down to everything that's in it. All for eight dollars. Gift number seven for the women in your life. Um, what I did was I found a bunch of items that I thought were definitely useful and that were in the same color scheme that I was trying to put this gift together in. So starting with the basket I threw in some shampoo, conditioner, and then I threw in a body wash and look at how it all matches. And then from there I put in some makeup wipes, the little poo for the shower, a face mask to sleep, a mirror with a bonus small mirror, a makeup cloth remover, some hair rollers, hair detangler brush, and a nice pair of fuzzy warm socks. And look at how it all matches and is so color coordinated. I thought this came out really great and this basket also has a handle on it which you'll see at the end so they can carry all of this very conveniently and easy with the handle all for only twelve dollars. That is a great deal. There's the handle right there. And then I'm going to show you here some additional items in case you wanted to do a pink themed basket as well. Gift number eight is a gift that I thought everybody always forgets about the diabetic, especially around the holidays, and there's so much sweets, so many sweets, and so much candy, and so I thought I'd take all the sugar-free candies that they had, put it in a nice little Santa hat with a nice little ornament, and throw it together and make a nice gift for a diabetic, somebody who probably always feels left out during the holidays, but not today because this is for them. And it's all for a mere price of $8. That's wonderful, look at how cute that is. Gift number nine, I used that same hat and ornament for uh, an oral care gift for kids who are gonna be eating all the candy and sweets. They need to brush, floss, and have a mouth rinse so that they don't uh, get cavities. So this is a cute little gift, like a stocking stuffer gift for a kid. And um, it only costs six dollars. Look at how cute that is. And the last gift was a last minute idea. A senior was asking me if I could help him find some pain reliever products. And so we started looking and I pulled out all of these and he didn't know which one to get. And so I thought what a great gift this would make for 11 bucks. Look at that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Bye-bye.